and here we are in tier one of uh, uh, Guild Wars World vs. World. We're facing off against uh, Blackgate and uh, what was the other? Uh, uh, sea of Sorrows. And just so you know, uh, Blackgate since the beginning of time in this game has been in this tier, <laughs> I think, just about. And uh, uh, at the moment we're in second place for uh, points and it goes by a certain length of time and then whoever wins that time period gets three points, the next guy gets two and then one. The thing is, we don't. W while we can do as well as they can by skill, etc., we don't have night coverage. Um, it's like uh, people that play uh, this game. Twenty. This is on. This is like a war game that's on 24/7. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I mean, I was sitting there listening to people kind of scoff at you know, oh, you're playing Guild Wars, and I'm like, yeah, this is the only part of Guild Wars I actually played for years. I only started playing the PVE part like off and on a little while ago and I did map completion for the first time in like what six years or like about a couple of weeks ago or like about a week ago or so <laughs> and all that does is get you a fancy pants skin called a legendary weapon which then you got to make it and all that stuff and yeah so and our guild leader at this point in time he had an eye injury and he hasn't been back in over a month now um, he tells us that it, he'll he'll recover and everything. It's just I don't know. It just kind of decimates your group, right? You know. Anyway, so I'm just running around trying to see what what's going on here. It looks like we're all over the place here. This isn't my regular world versus world care. This is another one I was using for the uh, what do you call it? Uh, putting up stuff to YouTube for like a story, the story based thing. It's my Lord Egghead guy. And what do we got here? Uh, looks like there's a fight inside. of it. Looks like I missed the fight. And one thing I will do, turn the graphics down. While it may look a little crappier for you guys, when you have 60 or 70 people or 80 people in a fight, leg is an issue, <laughs> even on a really good PC. Oh, looks like something's going on over here. Somebody's running this way. What's going on? Fight inside? How'd they get inside? Oh, really? Uh, someone died over there. usually get on in the morning and right when I'm doing it a bunch of other people get on and, and it's just it happened yesterday I don't know it's just like a whole bunch of us all at once got on and we just ran all over the map taking stuff and causing chaos for them and everything I, I, I don't think they were ready for it <laughs> it was like a blitzkrieg or or what what is the American equivalent shock and awe yeah there we go Oh, they're back at the front there, eh? And I'd say they're right there. And here they come again. Let's go have a fight. Mm -hmm. Not gonna 
escape very well, man. Inside. Let's go. Get inside. Don't die. Don't be a victim. Where are they going? Where do they go? See they ain't at all. That was the other side of the hill. Ha, <laughs> got him, did you? Good. <laughs> See? We are now in second place. If we got eight more points. We'd be in first points. So let's see, what can we do here to help people out? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm gonna have to do my patented running back and forth thing. First thing we do is our little toy here to summon one of these. And we do one of these, we put it here. And what we do is this. We go way up here. And this is a little thing for all of you that watch this. This is what you can, if you can learn to do this. Alright. You're going to be a big help to your server. And then I flip around this side. Get up to the top here. Jump here, jump here. Fly over. And the reason I'm doing that is so that that castle can get supplies brought into it and I'm not using them up. I do this all the time and I don't I don't show this that often, okay? And the reason main reason is you don't want your enemies knowing what to do, right? Too, right? Yeah. But anyway, showing you how to do this is this uh, you know this is what I do. I'm going to do it for hours and hours, and I set it up in the south here. And what that'll do is that giant zerg that was there and had all those guys having to fight them, three or four of us, once I do this, can can hold them off. I'll put a catapult right here so they can't touch it. Oh, I missed that spot. Damn, I hate that. There's one caveat about that. You get a little leg spike, and things just suddenly don't work out. Yeah. There we go. See, now it's up to 150, see? Now I hit the M key. Yeah. It's also a good way to do that so you don't get yelled at by people saying you're wasting supply and stuff like that. And you'll see what'll happen when I get that on there is uh, I'll annoy the piss out of them by uh, attacking the castle right to the, to the right of there. <laughs> it's always funny, eh? They get so annoyed they bring a whole Zergo and then they realize they can't touch it because it's sitting on a supply hut. Another one I could put up is uh, one on the supply hut down at this end, so that if they take Anne's, which is the, the castle over over that way, um, you can just blow the walls off. Easy. Anyway, we'll keep at this. 
once I start doing once I get this set up it'll it'll free up everybody else in the game to have some fun and do stuff right I've already got 22,000 kills in this game I mean you know, I've pretty much done everything and there's other people that have done this before so my turn Right there. Yeah, I should. You know, I bought the two DLC for this, and I haven't really done much with it. And I should, considering you know I paid for them. <laughs> it's just my way of saying, you know, uh, I had so much fun with this world versus world stuff, right? That uh, here's some money. See, that's what I like about some games. When the game is so much fun that when you, you know, they give you, they have something for sale or whatever, and it feels more like you're donating to keeping the fun going, that's the way to go, you know, you don't just, it's just not because, you know, you need to do this or you need to do that or, or, or something, right? And the one problem I have with, with DLC altogether is it splits up your community, right? Like there are people here that are playing in World vs. World that don't have Heart of Thrones or, or the uh, Path of Fire, right? And therefore they, they're missing out on content, right? Which isn't really fair, right? Which is it, why it was good that they brought in... Oh, by the way, I'll say this. VIP guild that was advertising you see in the, the chat thing there that he's uh, our leader of our guild here uh, is a member of theirs too right and well he's a lad from India and he had some kind of eye injury didn't want to didn't really say much else about it so I just let it go I've seen him in our, our discord a couple of times just wasn't playing so I can imagine any type of eye injury, even even a not serious one, it's still one where you don't want your eyeballs moving around playing a video game much, you know. Oh, I can just yowch. Let me just sit here nice and relaxed. Woohoo! Have fun! Boom! was a way I was doing this. Let me see something. Let me try this. 
think it was this. I hit two walls. There's the gate. Okay. Just so I know where the gate is. Alright. <coughs> Boom. You know what? Missed. There's a rarity. that place. Watch. <coughs> eh. The sounds these little guys make. <coughs> One eighty four, are we in first place now? Woohoo! There we go, everybody. First place. <coughs> you set anything up over there, I'll smash it with my thing. Yeah, let's give this give him one of these. Boom. There you go. So you know you can't wander too far. <coughs> You know, I am so tempted. Are they where are they, where are they fighting? Over there by that guard. Okay. <coughs> and last week we had two guys here. Instead of having the catapult on the stairs I had we had two trebs. That really annoys them. <laughs> really annoys them. The one on the stairs could actually hit. I think from here I can hit close to where the bridge is over there. I can definitely hit that guard over there. It's funny. Oh, hands or uh, we see open. Oh, then he shot it again, eh? Okay. Was. That was quick, you little bastards. Alright. Oh, are ya? I hate how the way these stupid things work. Dude, uh. Well, I'll keep wailing on it. Keep using up your supply. Oh, stop! Get out of my face, please! That guy's a weirdo. There are people like that. They just dance around like. Weird. Weird. Okay. I'll just keep wailing. There you go. Now some more. 
So I saw the trailer for uh, the new Marvel game, and you know what? Any game made in the last 10 years would be better than the one they had. Although it wasn't terrible, it was weird. But uh, they killed off Captain America. I mean, he's dead. He died. I mean, what the hell are they doing? This Marvel, you, you know... And and you want to look at how to do a superhero game? Go look at DC Universe and make a better free-to-play model than them. Okay? And you will have everybody in the universe playing your game. Alright? Think Warframe. Alright? Sell skins. Okay? And just make content. Alright? Like, I don't know. You got all the talent, and you got all kinds of artists there, and everything else. And this is what they do. I mean, even the heroes themselves don't look like what we're used to here in the last 15 years. The only one that looked even remote was uh, Black Widow. <laughs> I mean, what did she do to have to get her own character in the game where the rest of them don't? And I think I know what it is. It's it's because of all the copyrights and patents on how people are trying to copyright their likeness and everything. And, and Hollywood wants that so that, you know... Uh, like... Okay. this. Watch this, watch this. I'll go way over the top. I'm going to hit the, uh, every other one I'll hit the gate and then I'll Okay, I've had enough of them doing that there.
will be shortly. <coughs> have, it, have it open again. Oh, we took it. Alright, never mind. Okay, good, 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 good. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. yep. What's up here? Okay, what's over here? Durios. Okay, Durios is next. Hmm.
sure if I can hit something there, but we'll see. Never tried it here, but anyway. this way. Their horsey, give me my mouse back. There we go. Okay. Teleport. Oh, no, I can't. Alright, so if I can't, I'll have to use the supply here. into pieces. Hmm. Hopefully we get some supply here. Go little guy go. up here. Hopefully those swords will go away. Nope, not yet. side again, I bet he is too. Uh, I didn't want to do this, but at least I got some of it. will be done. Let's go. Come on, little guy. Go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go.
sorry for the cops. Sorry for the cops. Sorry for cops. Sorry for cops. I'll be recording this so that everybody can see where you put trebuchets on the lower part of SMC. There is a higher up part you can also put them at, which gives you an ability to uh, do this too, which would allow you on inner to do things as well. Normally I'd go to that, but one extra person isn't going to make any difference. While what I'm doing could annoy them. someone to do that. Come on.
Where are they? Fake attack. Nothing here. Okay, back to uh, EBG. difference between this map and the other map about flying. See that little bar as it's shrinking? When it reaches zero there in the uh, non-world versus world you drop like a rock. In this one you just slow down. <laughs> Way different. I'm going to get back over here because I got a feeling that they just pulled that attack to lure everyone over here. There's four of us in here. Well, you're going to be too late. You're going to be too late.
gone. Gone. Dicking around. See, they're all arguing about how to do things. That's why that's why I stopped kind of taking things serious around here because nobody knows what they're doing. There's no organized we shouldn't be on this here. We should be like T2. <sighs> it's gone. Do you require my assistance? Yep. What? Anyway, I thought I'd show you some of the action here. That was nothing. Um, that was just more or less me doing some siege stuff and where things are supposed to go. And that was a perfect example of, of how the leadership here argues amongst itself and doesn't get things done when the rest of us know what we're supposed to do and we just go and do it.